There are thousands of reports of human trafficking every year around the world, and a local group is hoping to make an impact by holding a trio of races to raise money for the International Justice Mission. Here to tell us more is Amy Anthony. Amy is the children's pastor at Calvary Baptist Church in Lafayette. Amy, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Totally off topic, but you're also a kidney donor, so congratulations. I am. I think that was really interesting. <laughs> that was a neat story. Yeah, that was a good story. Uh, okay, it's called Run for Justice. It's tomorrow morning. Yes. Uh, what do people need to know? Well, if they haven't already registered, there is still time to register. We are having a 5K run or walk a 10K run or a 200 yard dash that kids can participate in. You talked about registration. Mm -hmm. You can do that online or could yes. you do that with a phone call as well? They can register at runforjustice.net or if they arrive tomorrow by 8 a.m. they can register just the day of the race. Why did the church decide to take on the topic of human trafficking? Right. So seven years ago, our youth group actually did a study on justice put out by the International Justice Mission. And after they were finished doing the study, they just felt like they needed to do something in response to what they were hearing about the many different problems around the world where there just aren't strong justice systems to stand up for the poor and the oppressed. And so they decided to start a run. And over the last seven years, it's grown and we are um, already have raised $11,000 this year and hope to, to raise more tomorrow. Now, all the proceeds go to the International Justice Mission. What, what's their work? Talk a little bit about that group. Right. So what they do, in addition to rescuing people, is they really focus on strengthening the justice systems in countries where there is not protection for the poor. Violence is out of hand. People are... Uh, being enslaved in brick factories and fishing boat factories and children are being um, human trafficked and sex trafficking and so they go in and they have prosecutors and lawyers and investigators and then they work to strengthen the justice system so that the bad guys know that there will be consequences if they continue to do this. Okay, we're out of time. Runforjustice.net. Get your registration in and it kicks off tomorrow with registration at 730. Amy Anthony, thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. Have fun tomorrow. I'll coming up after the break.